Hey there everyone, I'm Michael, and welcome to another development time lapse. Uh, first off, I just want to say, uh, apologies for the background noise. I am currently recording this in a freezing room with a desk fan at maximum, and the window open, uh, near night time. Uh, and this video has been edited hours after it was recorded. <laughs> Uh, because of some other things that has went on in between. I won't go into detail, uh, but um, in this time lapse, we're going to be working on push notifications, or balloon tip notifications, I should really say, um, and the status trait. Uh, because if you look in Windows, or even on Linux in some cases, um, your panel, your taskbar, whatever you want to call it, it has a little area where notifications can pop up. Uh, there are various icons, for example, what network you're connected to, uh, your volume for your speakers. Um, if you're on Ethernet, wireless, or mobile broadband, or whatnot, uh, there are various icons that tell you the status of your operating system. Um, and in Hive to us, I'm bringing those status icons in. Uh, I'm starting with a simple digital society connection that doesn't really show the full connection details, but a notification that should pop up if you get disconnected. Um, and eventually the icon will change to a you're disconnected icon rather than just full signal. And it should eventually not in beta 2.5 not here. Uh, update based on the server ping. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool thing that I'm working on. Anyways, um, before I leave this off to just music like I usually do, I also want to talk about that li earlier video I made this week. Um, and, well, what's really happened since then. Uh, now that video, I was not actually expecting it to get the following that it got. I was just expecting it to just be me looking at OBS, the endless OBS tunnel, uh, speaking my thoughts, and nobody really listening. And I was wrong, um, because not only have, like, tons of people from the Shift West Discord and Astrophaser Central watch that video, <laughs> um, and put some really awesome comments down, including Philip Adams himself, but, funny thing, my, my idol, my inspiration to start programming things like Ship to Us and Memphis actually saw the video and commented. Uh, and that person is Major Sky 17 aka Windows on Windows. Um, now if you don't know who he is, he basically takes a look at Windows betas, like Windows Longhorn. Memphis, Neptune, Chicago, stuff like that, and he goes over the various features that were added in each build, um, what's changed between each build, what made it into the full release, what didn't make it, what could have been, what didn't end up being, stuff like that, and it's, it's really cool for someone like me who is really interested in Windows development. Now, some of you may say the Windows beta scene is quite uh, how you'd say, I don't know, trying not to veer off my usual PG nature with this channel, because, well, that's how Phil does his channels, and that's how I'll do them. Um, I guess you could say some people like to think the Windows beta scene is, well, bad, but honestly, I I don't care whatever people think about it. Um, it's it's something I'm interested in, it's something that Manchester Sky 17 is interested in, and, well, that's that's fine, and well, my interest in Windows development actually inspired me to learn programming because, um, well, I actually knew programming before then, but it was just in Minecraft, computer craft, and I would make small operating systems for the computers that had graphical user interfaces. They never really worked, but I liked doing it, um, and well, I wanted to actually make a, my own operating system, like a bootable x86 operating system, like, uh, well, Shift OS, except not Windows Forms and not .NET Framework, 
Um, I kind of picked the wrong programming language to learn, but anyways, um, yeah, Matrix Guy 17 is a huge inspiration for me, and he's the reason I still program <laughs> that and Philip Adams. Uh, they're both huge inspirations, and it was really cool to actually see them actually watch the video and comment and actually support me through those thoughts, and it was really awesome, and it was awesome for all of you guys, because I was really expecting that video to get maybe 20 or 30 views, and maybe a like or a dislike, and well, not much hell, it's nobody really talks about it. Um, and I guess that's, that's not the case. <laughs> maybe it's because I used clickbait title kind of like, like, I did this, here's why, you won't believe this. Uh, that wasn't really what I used, it was more of an exaggeration, but you get the point. Um, maybe it was that, or maybe I've actually found a community of people who are actually loyal and like what I do, and I really hope it's the latter, because that's, that says something about you guys. And it says something about Hank the West. Uh, it says that this game is really a good game. And even though it doesn't seem like a game right now, and even though there's not really much gameplay in it, and it's still a simple concept, people like it, and there's a reason to develop it, other than it's fun. And that's... that's... that's really special to me, and that means a lot. And... yeah. Anyways, I'm not sure how much of this takes up the video. Um... I'm not really sure what else to talk to, other than maybe the fact that Project Unite is kind of going through some major, major revamps right now with the user interface and the backend. So if you experience any problems with Project Unite, they won't affect your ability to play ShiftOS. The API for Unite, which is what allows ShiftOS to talk with it, and get things like your save file and stuff like that. That's fully working. Nothing has changed with that. It's 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 fine. But uh, the website itself, getshiftos.ml, some things like the forum and the developer blog, uh, you'll get compilation errors thrown at you. That's because those patients still use the old permission system and we're working on a new one that's much more streamlined. Uh, so. If you experience any Unite bugs, uh, we know <laughs> we're working on it, and we'll get back to you. And I, I also want to say that Beta 2.5, which is what I'm working on right now, is going to be delayed to next week, and there won't be a developer update this week showing off what's new with Beta 2.5. The reason is, it hasn't really hit my standards. My development standards for ShiftOS are that, for one, unstable or not, the game must be able to boot in all cases, and it must be able to shut down in all cases without crashing. And, well, up until a few hours ago today, Beta 2.5 did not hit that standard. And my other standards are that there must be at least one new significant feature to Beta 2.5, uh, a or to any release, really, a that could be a new skinning feature, or it could be a new set of terminal commands that sort of change the gameplay a bit, or it could be a bunch of Shiftorium upgrades, um, or it could be a new Shiftnet website, or it could be a new story element. Beta 2.5 doesn't really have any of that. The only things that Beta 2.5 really has right now is enhancements to the skin engine uh, that aren't really noticeable for those who have fully upgraded operating systems, and audio configuration options. You can now set the volume of music and sounds within ShiftOS. And of course there's the GUI based login screen, but that's that's not something I consider major, that's more of a this is cool kind of feature. Um, so there's got to be at least one feature per release that either changes the gameplay, enhances the gameplay, or enhances the story. And Beta 2.5 has not reached that yet. And that's because of, well, we just haven't really been working on it too much. We've been too focused on Unite, and I myself have been focusing, 
working on schoolwork and um, and personal things. So I haven't really had much time to work on beta 2.5, but this next week will probably change that. I've got a few assignments I need to do for school before I can get back to it. Um, for example, a French assignment that I actually I'm pretty excited for because it has a lot to do with Shift to us. Um, but once I get through those assignments, uh, which should be relatively quickly, um, Shift to us is going to be back into rapid development and it should be out either next week or the week after. And I'd also like to point out that Shift Hangout recently because of Unite changes and stuff like that, and things that have, that have been happening with me and Ryland personally, uh, well, mostly his timing constraints and personal stuff. We haven't been able to make it. Um, we're not actually sure what we'll do about Shift Hangout, because lately we haven't really had anything, well, really decent to do in Shift Hangout, other than Community Hangouts, and, well, um, we don't really have anything prepared for this time, so unfortunately, uh, we're not going to be able to make it this time. Um, because I've got to work on beta 2.5 and school assignments, so this shift hangout probably won't be a thing. Anyways, um, I think that's about it. I'm not actually sure. Um, yeah, um... Just pointing out, I am also back in Astral Phaser Central. So, um, yeah. Anyways, you guys are an awesome community. Here's to more shifting and more, well, astral phasing, I guess. Um, let's keep on going, shifters. I'll see you guys in the next video. Holy crap, this is a long voiceover. It took up damn near a third of a video. Or no, two thirds. No, like two fifths. No, four fifths. I can't math. Four fifths of the video. I'll settle on that. <laughs>